Hi Taurus, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. I do feel as if this next uh, two day period for you, even surrounding it uh, for some, is going to feel very productive, very rewarding for you. But with that said and done, let's jump into the Secret Language of Light Oracle deck and see what else Spirit has for us. Let's do some initial shuffling. I feel like you're feeling pretty good in the next 48. You're feeling accomplished. There's a sense of you wanting to put in effort, uh, wanting to put yourself, uh, you know, uh, forth towards things that you want to get done, things that even need to get done, but it's feeling like even the need, uh, the responsibilities, the obligations feel very much uh, wanted by you. you. Does that make sense? You're even wanting to uh, get those things accomplished and wrapped up and you know what I'm saying? I feel as if you're um, really in the mood to be accomplished, to be uh, maybe a busybody, but to see things uh, progressing for you. Look up the spiritual meaning of a dragonfly. You may even see one or a couple in the next 48 for Taurus. Coming out, sensitivity. I mean, how many Taurus readings for the, those who have been with me for a while have I mentioned that you're um, affected by energy and other factors of life, you know, for the better and for the worse? But there's a sensitive way about you. You feel very much uh, like you need to take a deep breath. I mean, naturally that's going to happen and be needed when it comes to a soul that chooses to and has to all the meanwhile stay busy and get a lot done, have a lot on your plate. But there's a caring nature about you as you as a soul and other aspects that you're intertwined with, connected to, applying yourself towards are blossoming in the next 48 and surrounding it but i'm being drawn to these angel wings it feels like the next two days you're going to be prepared to spread your wings and fly towards better but there's an angelic presence about you it has a lot to do with you being spiritually connected <clears throat> but um and that may tie into your voice of importance as well what you speak uh what you convey and get out there into the universe to other souls but including spiritual uh, beings but I feel as if uh, there's a sense of things starting to more so fall into place for you. There's change on the mind. Maybe there for some is change being initiated, secured, and just it's like the ball is rolling for you. What else do we have for Taurus? There's a divine masculine in your life and I feel as if they're going to be assisting you in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to be real with you, some of which this is a spiritual guide of yours. But for the majority, this is someone in your physical reality and they're going to want to assist you greatly. But you're also going to be feeling very masculine in the next 48 with a touch of femininity. <laughs> Excuse me. A touch of femininity, if I could even spit that out. Um, and a touch of that feminine uh, energy all the meanwhile. But I feel as if you're going to be exuding good vibes there's also good vibes bouncing back to you you're improving the mood of others by simply being you by existing by stepping into a situation or maybe shifting your own energy and therefore that it helps other people i feel you're going to be wanting more out of life now more than ever light beings i see a very uh bright future for you taurus and i feel as if you're going to be um, very connected to the universe and the spiritual realm in the next 48 and surrounding it because it's simply part of your existence, your reality at this point along your path. Um, I just heard the planets are aligning for you. The planets are aligning for you. Now, they are viewing you as a light being, a light worker, somebody with a very universal, magical mind, somebody who really has a bit of a whirlwind of a mind at certain points, but it can be more so managed and utilized to your advantage than you realize or remember in certain moments or in general. But now I'm hearing the stars are aligning for you. There's a focus on your north node placement. I know I have mine in Aquarius. Um, what is yours? I feel like you're as well going to be going through an inward revolution. I, I almost wanted to say revelation, um, but I feel like you're going to be really going through a glow up in the next 48 regardless of whether or not you're feeling you are in the moment let's move on 
for Taurus to continue for the next 48. 501, look up the engine number, meaning 501. The trust the timing card. This talks, uh, excuse me, this talks about trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Now, given this is naturally, once again, a time where you're going to have a lot to get done, accomplish, places to be, people to see, things to sign, whatever the case may be for you, um, you're needing to trust the timing. There is enough time in the next two days to accomplish everything you need to, to get to the places you have to slash need to. I feel um, you're going to as well be thinking about the places you've been. It's like randomly you start to reflect in moments when you're busy and it may take you out of the present day moment unnecessarily, but Spirit's saying it's really more purposeful than it feels because you maybe were too focused on what was at hand uh, or is at hand in that moment, or you may be um, needing to just kind of uh, yeah disconnect, right? Because you're too in the mo uh, in the motion, right? Too um, uh, attached in one with the mundane routine at hand. Anyways, but yeah, it feels like time is on your side. Time is on your side, Taurus. What else do we have, and then we'll move on to some tarot. It's a bit awkward. Um, there may be some awkward moments in the next 48 from you, uh, you know, uh, other people or somebody in particular. There's a sense of awkwardness being very relatable, right? Uh, uh, your energy being very relatable, your slip ups. And I'm not saying the next 48 has a ton of them, but when you do, you know, reminding me of me in these readings, um, it's going to feel very relatable to other people. And in the moment, specifically somebody who is benefiting you while you're going to be benefiting them greatly. Um, I know for me, I'm about to go sign a lease for a new apartment. Just moved into this one, but it's just needing to come to an end. So many um, difficulties and negative toxic aspects of this place are uh, already coming to be. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to sign for a new lease. And um I know that's going to be applicable for that situation today for me. Anyways, one more of these. Let's get it right from the middle. When you need to adjust, you need to adjust. Uh, big picture thinking, uh, Pleiades, uh, energy, I don't know if I said that right, visionary inspired ideas. There's going to be a need to step back and look at things in a larger sense. Dream big, my friend. Think big. Um, ask for bigger things. It feels like spirit saying you're a manifester. Remember this. You're a co-creator with so many different spirits from different lifetimes. It feels as if there's going to be, and you can feel the intensity shifting or me shifting into this intensity for this specific uh, set of messages. Think and ask for more. I feel as if they're saying your vision is, is too small for someone who is meant for more. Your uh, vision needs to be grand, you know, financially for the future when it comes to housing situations for a lot onto the reading, when it comes to relationships and when it comes to self-fulfillment. Uh, otherwise, experiences. Where do you want to travel? Where do you want to uh, go next? What do you want to experience? Think big and watch it come to be. It's that simple. Actually, let's move on to the tarot. Which deck are we going to use? I want to use the Mystic Mondays for you. For Taurus. Ooh, flopping out. The Seven of Pentacles. I feel as if you're going to be, again, watering this and that of importance and seeing growth and abundance coming from that. I mean, growth is a form of abundance, but you get the point. Um, look at her here. There's a sense of you being very well... Uh, presented uh, by yourself and certain spirits, maybe other people, you're very uh, poised in the next 48, but feeling a little bit of a fumble coming to be at certain points, a bit of a all over the place sort of way about you and maybe up in your mind, sort things out. It feels like you'll want to. And so take this time, uh, this energy, uh, this period to get organized, right? Reorganize, re-implement maybe uh, as well to clean up and tidy up your existence, your life, uh, your life, excuse me, and watch that benefit you greatly. There's a sense of preparation needing to come to be for a big shift for a lot. I know for me, it's going to be packing and cleaning up and getting ready for the next move of residence, uh, one of many for myself, but for you, it's going to be different. 
but I feel as if the colors that you choose to shine with a very interesting wording you know me thinking about the blue hat with the pink uh different shades uh that i'm choosing to wear uh today um definitely speak upon what you're going through how you're wishing to uh, choosing to wanting to be perceived to present yourself to the world to other souls who um may find that quite attractive soothing uh, uh bright or just yeah happy for some uh it feels like you're going to be colorful in the next 48 very interesting the two of wands and the two of swords number 22 is on the board i feel there is a sense of you not knowing exactly what you're about to get into or uh all of which but i feel there is uh, answers coming in in the next 48 maybe being remembered for a lot drawn to the reading there's a sense of you um longing for more clarification but they're saying just speak up ask um and in one way shape or form if not multiple ways answers come in they're saying it's been a bumpy road but we're about to smooth uh, the path ahead for you so that you can feel more relaxed you can feel more content and you can feel easy accomplishments more so than ever coming to be for you you're not meant to stress okay especially at this point along your path i feel some like myself have stressed back in the day enough for lifetime plus some or for some several lifetimes so let's just take it easy but it doesn't mean you don't get done what you need to get done it doesn't mean you don't i hated that wording it doesn't mean you don't uh stay productive and get your life in order and ac accomplish and gain and uh, feel rewarded all the meanwhile and in the end it does mean though that in the midst of which along the way you don't stress it okay and they're saying the next 48 reminds you and other people when things are meant to come to be they're simply going to come to be to force it to try to force it is not the Taurus way especially this version of yourself at this point there is sunny happiness in the next 48 I just looked at the number 12 12 in the timestamp you're going to feel like a sunny character in the storybook of your own life love that but they're saying that you do have sort of at times animated ways about you um and i know i do too at times without meaning to and i feel like it's totally spiritually connected and um you know acted out but i feel like you're going to be a little bit of a storyteller at certain points you're going to be feeling peaceful people admire your peace my friend there's a sense of you and it reminds me of me doing these readings i feel like I'm coming off quite stressed or like I'm uh, ranting in a very stressful manner but all the meanwhile I watch it back it, it was maybe a little bit of what I was feeling but I for the most part I'm thinking um wow this is coming off quite peaceful it's coming off uh soothing even and um all these messages are just being spit out of me um so there's something of that sort for you you're going to be feeling on fire at certain points as in being drawn to the center part of that uh, oracle card pairing with the sun card you may have uh decent or heavy placements uh, within your chart and when it comes to fire um whether it's leo sagittarius aries um yeah anyways i don't know why i'm getting that money and career is on the mind money and career is on the mind let's wrap this up by saying you're about to cut something out that has been limiting you it's been troubling you it's been holding you back i feel as if this is a very transformational uh rewarding next 48 for you absolutely amazing so i truly hope this was helpful love and light